Hello, let's have a look at how we can convert from denary into binary. And we learn this as computer scientists because we want to know how we can represent numbers like 14 in a computer. A computer can only use binary. How do we store something like 14, which is a denary number? Well, to go from denary to binary, the method I would suggest using is using our place value table as a guide. So the binary place value, it's always going to start with a one on the right hand column. And we keep doubling our place value as we go. Now, we need to keep doubling this until we reach a place value which is bigger than our target number. So the next column after eight is 16. But 16 is bigger than 14, so therefore I can stop at eight. If I kept going a bit longer, it's not a huge issue. I would just get some zeros at the end, which are not needed. So keep doubling until the next column is bigger than your target. This is my table which I can work with to get 14 into binary. The process now is to go how many times does my far left column go into my target number? Where well, 8 fits into 14 one time. And in binary, it's only ever going to be either one time or not at all, which makes it quite simple for us to do. So 8 is smaller than 14, therefore it goes in one time. It should never go in twice, that'd be a mistake. Right, now what we have to do is work out our remainder because I've got a remainder when 14 is divided by 8. What is left over if we subtracted 8 from 14? Well, we've got a remainder of 6. So now that's the number we use with our next columns. How many times does 4 go into 6? It goes in one time. What is our remainder? Our remainder is 2. How many times does 2 go into 2? It goes in one time. With this time, no remainder. And no remainder is a good sign. We want to get to no remainder by the time we reach our end. If we have stuff left over by the time I get to the ones column, that means you've made a mistake somewhere. So if I get remainder zero early, I just add in zeros with my remaining columns. So that's the answer. 14 in denary is equivalent to 1110 in binary. That is how a computer would store the number 14. Let's now convert 94, a bigger number. So a bit harder to do potentially but our method is exactly the same. We start at one, we keep doubling until the next column is bigger than our number. So after 64, we have 128, which is bigger than 94, therefore I don't need it. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm going how many times 64 go into 94? Well, it goes in one time with a remainder of 30. How many times does 32 go into 30? Well, it doesn't. So I write down a zero and I leave my remainder as it is. How many times does 16 go into 30? Well, it goes in one time with a remainder of 14. Eight goes into 14 one time with a remainder of six. Four goes into six one time with a remainder of two. Two goes into two one time with a remainder of zero. So once again, my ones column is left with a zero in it. The answer is one zero one 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 zero. Let's now convert 234, so the biggest number so far. We are only ever going to get at a maximum 255 at GCSE. Of course, we could have bigger numbers, but they are taking mercy on you. And this means the biggest column you'll get is 128, although it does keep doubling again and again and again. Okay, not the best table, but that will do. Right, how many times does 128 go into 234? Well, it's smaller, so therefore it goes in one time. And the remainder, this one we probably could do in our head, but be really careful in an exam. Don't rush these questions. Write working down if you need to. You won't be judged by the examiner. Here, it's a gap of 106. How many times 64 go into 106? Well, it goes in one time with a remainder of uh, 36 plus 6, so 42. 32 goes into 42 one time with a remainder of of 10. 16 doesn't go into 10. 8 does go into 10 once with a remainder of 2. 4 doesn't go into 2, but 2 does go into 2. Get remainder of 0, that's our goal. And we put another 0 at this final column. The answer here is 11101010 is how 234 would be represented in a computer.